Cody here with some more NES goodness. Yummy. Got Legend of Zelda. Don't need to play it because it's classic and everyone knows what Legend of Zelda looks like. So there's my pretty gold cot. Yay. I played some uh, Astyanix. I guess that's how you say it. That was uh, very, very interesting. Let's start. Get some time here. You. Woo. Where am I? You. Yeah. This is Realmia. My name is Kimi. How cute. I brought you to this world, bitch. You. What? A talking butterfly? Let me say something else. But what? The talking butterface? Listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you. Well, you type so slow, I have no other choice. The girl who appears in your dreams is Princess Rosebud of Relimia. Remila, whatever. She is being held captive by the evil wizard. Blackhorn. I thought she was done talking. Ask the Annex. That's the boy's name. Please save our princess. You know, because you've been dreaming of her all this time. You know, you owe it to us at least. You know, she was your bed night fodder. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Man, this goes on forever. How can I save her? Jeez. Ask the Annex. You are the war, y'all. <laughs> Dogs even mad. Chosen by this world. Uh, you possesses <laughs> the wonderful miracle power within you. It's hell of a pep talk. Princess Butterface. And also, only the princess can send you back to your world. I can't do it myself. All right. Oh, seizure. Nice. Take this magic axe. Bash. They named the axe. Really? Is everything they named in this game? This is the only way you can get back to... I'm going to speed this all up. This is taking way too long. Your world. An axe. How about a magical flute? Blackhorn has many monsters at his command. You have no choice. I'm sorry. Well, if I refuse, you get tortured. Okay, then lead the way. Magical butterface. Oh, we got a life here. There we go. Ah, at least it's a side scroller. Oh, wow. Jump. Flash. I can't reach that. Yeah. Man, it's as slow as the talking is the play control. Octopus. Uh, let's not take too much damage. The skeletons. I'm impressed. Yes. Oh, another one comes after one dies. Oh, jeez. <laughs> game. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> also played some uh, Mad Max, which was pretty bad. Mad Max. Oh, I'm in the car. Look at the dynamite. What's the other button do? I don't know. It has like really retarded RC Pro AM controls. There we go. Push up. To go instead of an A button, which does nothing right now, which would have been a suitable choice. I want to go up, I'm not going to go down. Only idiots go down. Hear that, kids? Always go up. I don't like the school bus. Blow it up. Blow it up more. Ah, right, who's that? Oh, down turns. Oh, this is just ass. Come back here, you. I'm not done with you. Uh, is that tire fire? Uh, ran out. Did I run out of dynamite? Oh, you're kidding me. So I gotta play tug of war with this idiot. I'm gonna go push this guy around. Like Sumoing with cars. Man, this, I wonder if there's any live act, any uh, platforming or just gun run to this game. It's just all this. Is it all this? There's more than just driving around in a car that's running out of oil and gas. There has to be. Man, these controls. They should have put, you know, 
A to do something like gas and then I could be free but nope my life is a I mean oh right now fuel hallelujah just pretty awful you're just a little car going around trying to find oil which I guess is really really you know movie like but it's just stupid and boring controls on the car are awful and then Time Lord, which uh, I have to admit is a kind of a cool concept. I like the idea. I mean, who doesn't like you know time travel as a basis for a video game? So I really can't fault it too bad. It wasn't too bad. I Milton Bradley presents Time Lord. There's some creepy guy holding his ball, looking into the future, the past, something really epic. MB Time Travel Research Center. Your mission capture five orbs in each time zone and eliminate aliens, forms changing Earth's history. Good luck, Time Lord. That sounds cool. I mean, that sounds cool. Uh, we'll see how it looks in. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. And I say that, and then it's just ass. I want that orb. Oh. Okay, well, that. How come they have guns? There we go. I got one orb. Oh, go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> they just pop off the screen. They don't die. Oh, I see. There's some mention to this here block. I hate that. They're trying too much of this game. Jeez. So you have to. Oh. The spaceship thing, come on. There. I like how just daintily it disappears. I'm touching it. Alright. I'm gonna get this orb. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There's another orb. Is that the last orb? Yes. That was kind of easy. I got hit a lot. But that was suspected. When you're a time lord, it's part of the job. All right, going to England. Let's see if it looks like England. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that does the trick. Oh, I'm glad I'm not dead. I would have been really pissed off. See, in England, they had a mushroom supply. That makes sense. Oh, my. Midgets with bow and arrows, really? <laughs> Midget archers? <laughs> Oh, they piss me off, so. Look how they come in waves, too. Why are they charging? How does that benefit them? Have you ever seen an archer just run into someone head first and be firing? That's not how an archer attacks. A archer falls back and picks you off. Oh my gosh, you can't even see through these. Okay. Oh, no. I got two, like, depressed dragons coming after me. Oh, I missed the. No. I escaped the dragons and went to another wave of uh, midget archers. Which, uh, oh, there's a knight. I'm glad I took the down road. I skipped a lot of bullshit down here. Oh, that's gravitational. I don't know what it's. Come on. I guess I forgot my mission statement. But I don't know how you get back up there unless you crawl. Oh, I could take damage from down here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Hitting me some midget archers. The midget archer army comes. I fall back and punch them in the gums. The midget archer army is coming to die. Gotta lay low. Hit them in the face when they're walking real slow. Pick them off one by one. Punching the midget army. The midget arch army. They're gonna die. Let's see if I can with them. Oh, slow down. What is that? Oh, I got a sword. Now I can beat up the depressed dragon. 
Oh, no. Please, give me my... Yes, I got the sword back. Posh. Everything's one hit in this game, which is pretty cool. Because everything attacks cheaply. Anyway. Get them. Oh! There we go. Oh, snap. Still can't. Can they stop? There we go. So, does the midget army still come? Even though I'm up here? <sighs> what? No, I kind of liked it. So, it's probably the winner of this bunch. Well, of course, Zelda's great, but you know, you played Zelda so much, it's good to find another decent game out of a bunch. Doesn't happen every day, people. Yep. Later.